But firstly, I want to concentrate on whether or not we should be considering treatment in these horses. So the first question we're going to have to, to ask is, does the horse definitely have atrial fibrillation? Will they move on to, is that affecting the horse's performance? Importantly, is there any underlying cardiac disease that will help us decide which treatment is best indicated? And then whether or not treatment is likely to be effective. Atrial fibrillation comes in three main forms. The most common of those is the middle one on this list, this list. That's lone atrial fibrillation. That's atrial fibrillation with no underlying cardiac disease, no significant cardiac murmurs. Paroxysmal atrial fibrillation is relatively uncommon as far as we know, but it might occur much more frequently than we understand but because it's very, very difficult to diagnose. This can occur for any length of time from a few seconds to a few days and is always self uh, resolving.